Okay, so we're into another week and another YA contemporary book. Um, and this week I've been reading Truth or Dare by Non Pratt. Now this is the first I've read of Non Pratt um, and I was really blown away by this. Um, I absolutely love the way it's written. Um, so the whole concept of the book is you've got two characters, Claire and Seth and um, Seth's brother Cam has been in a very serious accident. He's um, fallen off a, a viaduct and it's resulted in a really serious um, neuro disability. So he's in a specialist hospital, um, basically trying to relearn to walk, trying to relearn to talk and you know, all the things that come with, with that. Um, it costs a lot of money to keep somebody in that kind of specialist care. So Seth comes up with the idea of creating a YouTube channel where he's going to do a series of dares to raise money for um, his brother. Um, and so Claire becomes embroiled in helping him create this um, because she's a bit of a tech whiz. Um, and together they take on the identities of um, Truth um, Girl and Dare Boy to um, a kind of like masked alter egos um, performing these these dares and truths um, for their YouTube channel together. Now I love the way it's written because um, the first half of the book is Claire's narrative um, and then you get to the middle and you get told to turn it over. Oh, I love that. Um, and then you start reading from the back with Seth's story and then at the towards the end there's a kind of dual point of view going back and forth from one to the other. But I've never seen that done um, before um, and I thought it worked just so well. Um, I felt like both characters had a really distinct voice um, and everything about this story was believable. The, the characters were believable and um, I felt like I could understand what they were going through. The first half of the book, which is Claire's story, um, is mainly about Claire falling in love with Seth. Um, she is dealing with the fallout from an online video of her that, that was posted without her consent and she's dealing with that um, as well as some friendship issues as well. But I'd say the main focus is on the, the, I guess, the romance element of her falling for a guy. She views him as a bit unattainable for her and he's um, somebody that she wouldn't have ordinarily got to know under normal circumstances. The second half, when you get to Seth's side, becomes, I'd say, a lot more intense because Seth is dealing with a lot of stuff. Um, because of his brother's serious in injuries, um, Seth is struggling with the identities created for himself, he's struggling with um, desperately trying to get the money on the YouTube channel um, and his growing emotions for Claire. He's a really conflicted character. I wouldn't say this was a light read, it, it's it's quite intense, but that doesn't mean that it's not got any love in it, it doesn't mean it's not got any lightheartedness in it. There's some real real fun in this book as well, um, but it deals with some really important issues, some important themes, and it doesn't try to gloss over them. It doesn't try to make them easier than they than they really are, um, and I think I think that's good. I, I think this, this book looks at loss, it looks at guilt, and it looks at who we really are. I think for that reason it's just completely compelling and I, I read this in well I started it one evening and read compulsively and then finished it the next morning so you know this gives you an idea of how fast I've burned through this book um, and um, it was it was really compelling there was a real sense of high stakes of the story moving forward and um, I didn't feel as I've read some reviews of this book and people say, oh, I don't like the fact that you get halfway and then it goes back to the start again. I did not feel that that was bad at all. I didn't feel it was repetitive because you're seeing everything from a totally different angle. There's um, more in Seth's side of the story on his family and his brother, Amir. And I absolutely love the character of Amir, who's the, who's the younger brother. He's trying to deal with it as well and I, I just love the way that the family is drawn particularly with the relationship of Seth and Amir which is quite problematic as well. Um, so I just I just love the, the way that, that that family was drawn. Um, I, 
I know non non Pratt's written a, a number of other books as well, so I'm definitely going to look them up because um, this was just a stunning read. Um, so a YA contemporary suitable for ages 16 plus. Um, I would really recommend this if you like something pacey, exciting, um, modern, with some romance, um, then this is for you.